All right, so have you heard of Edward Bloom? Maybe the name isn't ringing a bell, but I'm sure you're familiar with some of his work. Despite not being a lawyer, Bloom has been behind some of the most high-profile Supreme Court cases of the last decade, including what seems like his one-man mission to end affirmative action in the United States as we know it. In fact, in 2016, Bloom was one of the forces behind Fisher versus University of Texas at Austin. That case concerned a white student named Abigail Fisher, who sued the university, arguing the school shouldn't use admissions policies that favor black and Hispanic applicants over white students. Now, that case didn't exactly pan out as Fisher and Bloom had hoped. In a 4-3 to three decision, the Supreme Court upheld the use of race in the school's admissions process. After that defeat, Bloom is now back for rounds two and three. In fact, last week, the Supreme Court announced that it would take up two affirmative action cases next term, this time against Harvard and the University of North Carolina. The lawsuits accused the two schools of discriminating against Asian Americans and, in UNC's case, white students as well. The plaintiffs claimed the school put them at a disadvantage and valued Black and Latino students more highly. Except there's here's the thing. The lead plaintiff in both the Harvard and the UNC cases isn't actually a student at all. It's Edward Bloom. Now, you might ask, what does Bloom have to gain from meddling in the admissions process of schools he has nothing to do with? And why is he putting the Asian community at the center of this fight? Especially when you consider that Bloom's organization, Students for Fair Admissions, has failed to present a single Asian American student at trial, and that 70% of Asian Americans are actually in favor of affirmative action. In fact, during Bloom's previous attempt at knocking down the policy in Fisher versus University of Texas at Austin, more than 160 Asian American and Pacific Islander groups filed amicus briefs in support of affirmative action. And despite a clear lack of support from the community that Bloom...